I would say that our Catholic funerals is in many ways a procession where we uh, have three stops, where we go first to the vigil that has its very distinct purpose, to the mass, which is something yet different, and finally to the cemetery. It reflects the journey that the person who has died is making, moving now from this life to the new life with God. It's the way that the church community gathers to accompany the person uh, in this final phase of their human journey, entrusting them to God's love and mercy. And each of those, those stops, if you will, um, has not only a spiritual, but a psychological and healing dimension to it as well. We had the, the vigil service, and that was powerful. And we, we prayed the rosary as a family, but then we also had the opportunity to share stories about him. It's part of the grieving process is to share stories about the one you've lost. It's also a time for people to be able to eulogize, talk from their heart about their experience of the loved one. To hear stories that I've never heard about my grandfather and to realize how much people loved him because people would come forth with these beautiful, wonderful stories. It sort of gave us a, a renewed like, yeah, this is how I want to live my life. I remember sitting there as her husband and watching all these people come up and greet and, and, and say their goodbyes to her. Even that simple act of people walking forward to the casket, there's this incredible um, mercy there. The vigil, we focus on their life here on earth, what they accomplished in their life, the people they knew, the things they did, what impression they left, and their legacy on earth. And the funeral mass was really a focus on uh, the hope for his eternal life and our hope that we would see them again. Then you get to the funeral mass and we're praying for God's mercy, but you're also hearing God's word and that, that word of hope. Death has no victory anymore. The funeral was beautiful in that we saw how much the, not only his family, but his friends and the parish community loved him. The beauty of mass and partaking in Eucharist, particularly in the perspective of a funeral setting, is phenomenal. It just really brings you to a place where you fully understand what the source and summit of, of our faith is. When we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, we are really bringing them into that same experience and our final hope, which is that our loved one, who is deceased now, will one day be raised from their grave and be given eternal life. And there's the third component, which is the committal. And this is the final goodbye for that person. The last moment, of course, after saying thank you to God for this person and their life and gifts is to uh, commit their remains to the earth. It's a time for the family to come together and uh, really gather around their loved one as they are interred for the remainder of, of, of this world. I know every time I go to Queen of Heaven Cemetery, I pass by my parents' headstone, and I pray over, over them. I'm asking the Lord to, uh, if he has not yet, to give them a beautiful place in his kingdom. Just as Christ's body was carefully taken off the cross and laid into the tomb, what we do is we treat every decedent with the love and care that we would the body of Christ and our own families. My wife, Angela, uh, passed away on September 21st, 2012. My son was turned three the day after she died. Uh, my daughter was five. And so taking them to a funeral, how most kids at three years old don't even go to a funeral. But because, because of the process that we were led through, through by the church and because of the beauty of that liturgy and the form and the structure, even they were led through this process of letting go. To learn more about the beauty of the Catholic funeral, please visit Catholic cemeteries and funeral homes or talk to your parish today.